What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. So there is 11 teams remaining in the Stanley Cup playoffs. We have two game sixes going on, maybe when you're watching this right now. So there might be less than 11 teams, but we're starting to really narrow down. And as a result, my confidence levels on different teams have changed. So I thought it'd be a fun idea to run through every single team still remaining and tell you whether my confidence, I have more confidence in them, the same level of confidence or less confidence in them based on where they're at right now, Friday at 530 p.m. PM relative to when they entered the playoffs. Some teams had injuries. Some teams have looked like utter shit. Some teams absolutely dominated, making me more confident in them. Let's go through these teams and I'll tell you what I think about them now relative to when we headed into the playoffs. Up first, the Dallas Stars. They were my Stanley Cup pick. I am going to go same level of confidence. If you told me that they were up 3-2, I'd take that. 10 times out of 10, I said, even though they were my Stanley Cup pick, I said this first round matchup against Vegas was going to go seven games. So the fact that they're up 3-2, I would maybe even be leaning in more confident. Now, if you mentioned the fact that they went down 2-0 and I had to sweat all those games out, that's not ideal. But I still think they have really shown why they are a Stanley Cup uh, contender, Stanley Cup arguably favorite in this series. They started in the first two games. I still thought they played really good. Vegas just just got the puck luck. Got, things just went in their direction. But for these last three games, Dallas has been the better team, and I think they probably put them away tonight, if not going back home on Sunday. I think they take care of business, and against Colorado, I think they would be favored as well, and they'd still be my Stanley Cup pick, so although it was a rocky start, with the momentum that they have right now, I, I, I'm the same level of confident right now if I were to pick a team to win the Stanley Cup. It would be the Dallas Stars. Do they have the easiest path? No, because they're not even through to the first round, and Colorado's a very tough matchup. I'd say Florida probably has the easiest path right now, but Florida technically has like the best odds, but Dallas would be my pick. Next up, the Boston Bruins. You got to go less confident, man. It's not looking good. They started out fantastic in the first four games going up 3-1, but man, they have been bad, especially offensively the last two games. Only technically two goals, but one of them was scored with 0.1 goals. One goal for the most part in their last two goal games. Jeremy Swayman, if they can get past the Leafs, maybe Jeremy Swayman can stand on his head against the Florida Panthers, but I just don't see it with this forward core, this team going on any deep kind of run. I didn't have those expectations coming into the playoffs, but I thought, hey, Dave, maybe Pasta and Marchand have one more run in them. David Pasternak has been invisible and actively bad the last two games, so I'm pretty low on the Boston Bruins right now. I, I, I think that... The, People that say that like the Leafs winning last night locked up the series, you that's ridiculous. I still think it's basically a coin flip in game seven, but I, I, I'm definitely lower on Boston than say entering this where I thought they're going to have the better edge over the, uh, the Toronto Maple Leafs. Toronto has all the momentum and rightfully so. Toronto, I'm not going to go more confident. I'm going to go same confident. Again, this is relative to at the start of the playoffs. I thought, oh, Toronto can beat Boston. I don't see this team going on a deep Stanley Cup run. And when looking at it, although Joseph Wool's playing great right now, I don't see this team really standing a chance against the Florida Panthers. Uh, it, it's 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 just not going to happen when looking at it. Florida beats them in basically every single department. It, Toronto stars are starting to show up with William Nylander. That's definitely encouraging. But I, the defense core still has massive question marks, in my opinion, not even defensively, but in terms of generating offense, even though they won the last two games, have not been scoring. They still haven't scored more than three goals recent. Like You look at their last like 12 games, and I think they only broke the... 12 playoff games. I think they've only broke the three goal mark like once in those games. They need to get far more offense if they're going to go on any semblance of a run. And I still just have not seen enough from the Toronto Maple Leafs. The Edmonton Oilers. You got to go more confident. They took care of business against the LA Kings. I expected them to win in five games. That's not really the thing that's causing more confidence. It's it's the, first off the way that they looked, but also the fact that their path got a lot easier considering now that the Vancouver Canucks do not have Thatcher Demko. You got to look good for the Edmonton Oilers. They have a very clear path to the Western Conference Finals. And yeah, they were just straight up the better team than the LA Kings outside of that game four where LA threw everything in the kitchen sink against the Edmonton Oilers. That was like their last stand in Stewart Skinner stood on his head. That's also why I'm more confident on him. Not saying Stuart Skinner has played last year Bobrovsky level in the in those five games, but he has definitely avoided massive mistakes outside of maybe a couple goals. If he can just give them solid 890, even 890 goaltending probably gets them definitely to the Western Conference Finals. Maybe they could outscore come the Western Conference Finals. I'm definitely, even though I'm wearing my Calgary Flame shirt, I am more confident in the Edmonton Oilers now than I was heading into the playoffs. And I still had them in the Western Conference Finals then, but it's looking like almost the near cakewalk for them to get to the Western Conference Finals. Vegas, 
Vegas, I'm going to go with same. They're they're down 3-2. That is true. But I didn't really expect that that much from the Vegas. Actually, no. What am I saying? I should go less then. They're going to lose. No, fuck that. They're going to lose to the Dallas Stars in the first round. I thought, oh, they're going to be in a seven-game battle with the, Dallas Star- with the Dallas Stars. But if they can win that, they can go on a serious cup run. But it ends tonight. Probably aging horribly. Vegas probably won 7 nothing tonight or something like that. But when looking at Vegas, you got to be lower on them considering they are in a deficit. Even though, say, I expected the Dallas Stars to win that series, the fact that they're facing that 3-2 after blowing a 2 nothing series lead, heading back home. Yeah, I don't know why I said same at first. I'm definitely less confident in this bunch. They have not looked good in the last three games. And as a result, yeah, it's not looking good for Vegas. Florida! Florida, I am going to go with... Same. I didn't really rate Tampa Bay that high. I know they took care of business very impressively. Besides game four, they allowed six goals. But you knew you knew Tampa was going to have one good, good game, good offensive game in those four, four, four games. But overall, I looked at the matchup. Florida just had far more depth. And Bobrovsky was the better goalie coming into it that I didn't really think that they'd have that much of a struggle. And now heading into the second round, I kind of thought that it was going to be a cakewalk against the Leafs or the Boston Bruins. Now the fact that the Boston Bruins and Leafs are just beating each other up in close physical games. Yeah, I think Florida's probably going to walk to the Eastern Conference fi- Eastern Conference Finals as well. When they get there, if they play either Carolina or New York, that's going to be their first real series. But they've looked basically the part of a legit contender in that series against Tampa Bay. Confidence level stays about the same. They were a top three Stanley Cup contender or top four for sure coming into it. I Nothing has changed for that. Maybe even I'm a little bit more confident just be considering how convincing they looked in those games. Next up, Nashville Predators. I'm going to go same, maybe even more. You, they're down 3-2. It's tough, but they could have arguably won this series 4-1 by now if they didn't blow game one as well as game four. They they probably should be up 3-2 in the series, but they are down right now. I thought they were going to have a chance against the Vancouver Canucks. And, 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 they, and they've proved the point. I think at five on five, they have arguably been the better team thus far. So when looking at Nashville, I can't have that much confidence. The confidence level can't be that high considering they're down three, two, but if they win tonight, I think they will win game seven and eventually advance considering Vancouver is starting shill It's not looking good for Nashville considering they're down, but they definitely still have a chance. Carolina hurricanes. It's got to be same, I think, for the most part. They, they took care of business with the New York Islanders, but we saw them take care of business last year against the New York Islanders. This year, another very... Not, it wasn't extremely convincing, but they they showed up at the end of games, took care of business, uh, back-to-back goals, 15 seconds apart twice in the series. They were just the more prepared team, and as a result, they're advancing to the second round. I'm thinking the same as Carolina. They're still my Stanley Cup final pick to lose to the Dallas Stars, but still to make the Stanley Cup final. Vancouver Canucks. This got to be a less, mainly because they are a Thatcher demko uh Vancouver Canucks. It's looking like he's probably not going to play the rest of the playoffs, and if that's the case, and now the Smiths out, I'm not sure uh, uh, a Shilov's team can beat the Edmonton Oilers. They're going to have to score a shit ton on Stuart Skinner. Pedersen hasn't looked that good. Miller, Hughes, and Besser have really showed up. They're stars in that regard, but Pedersen is not to a degree. I like that third line. It's been playing good, but the fact that they, they're on their third goalie is just is just not ideal for a team to go. If they were, yeah, I I, I just don't have enough, enough info, enough experience with Shilovs to fully trust him down the stretch in this playoffs for the Vancouver Canucks. If they had them go... I think they would have a decent chance to go on a deep run, but right now I- I'm pretty low on them making that run, and it doesn't appear like Demko is going to be back until at least the Western Conference Finals, if they even make it there. The Rangers, the Rangers, I am going to go with more confident. I think I am. They took care of the Washington Capitals, and I think that was pretty convincingly. The the New York Islanders had the better of the Carolina Hurricanes, and maybe for for a full game or a couple periods throughout. I never thought for a second that the New York Rangers were in any doubt. They they generated a decent amount of offense at five on five. So when looking at it, Igor Shosturkin looks like he is yet again putting up a dominant postseason run. I'm still going to pick Carolina probably to win in that second round matchup, but I think the New York Rangers are going to give them a very, very good series. And if they, and if they can get past Carolina, they're going to have a decent chance to win the Stanley Cup. So I actually do have more confidence after what I saw against the Washington Capitals with the New York Rangers. And then lastly, the Colorado Avalanche. 
you got to go more in this regard. The way that their offense was absolutely flying in that series where they have five goals every single game. And it wasn't Connor Hellebuck playing like garbage. They were just the far more explosive team. So many two-on-one breaks, three-on-two breaks. That that Winnipeg, don't get around, they don't have the best defense core of all time. They're going to have a tougher time offensively against Vegas or Dallas in the next round. But they really exposed the Winnipeg Jets defense core that did put up solid numbers during the regular season, as well as the fact beyond that first game, not saying Georgiev stood on his head by any stretch, but he played very good. He played like he had to in order for this team to take take care of a good Winnipeg Jets team in short order in five games. As long as Georgiev can play fine with that good of an offense, I, I previously thought Dallas would take care of Colorado pretty, not pretty easily, but like six games. I think that series is going seven most likely. That is going to be a war. Dallas is going to have a hard time slowing down that offense. That's why they, I'm saying it like Dallas is a lock to go to the next round. I'm confident, but... Dallas, that's why they acquired a guy like Chris Danev to slow down Colorado's insane offense. A Turi Lekkinen is playing out of his goddamn mind. And if that second line is clicking like it's possible, they probably have the best top six in the entire NHL. I don't think that that's that, that much of a stretch when that second line is playing that good. So I am definitely more confident in the Colorado Avalanche. But yeah, that's my overall confidence levels on different teams. Uh, once the second round starts, I'll, I'll predict all those matchups. I'll do a full updated Stanley Cup odds with the eight teams remain, remaining. But let me know in the comments, what do you think? And I'll be seeing the next one.